Well, thank you for staying with us for the news at 430. I'm Fred Shropshire. Halloween is just two days away and this year spending for the holidays expected to reach an all time high of about $10 billion, according to the National Retail Federation. That is up even over pandemic spending. WCNC Charlotte's Ashley Daly joins us live at one of the many Halloween stores seeing a lot of customers right now. Ashley looks pretty busy there. Yeah, Fred, we were inside outside the front doors, but we were asked by security to come out here. So we are outside the Spirit Halloween store, outside the Metropolitan, just outside of Uptown Charlotte. I will tell you, we've been at two Spirit Halloween stores today, both incredibly busy, not only with kids coming in to find the final pieces to their Halloween costumes, but lots of adults too. In 2020, Halloween was filled with more than just goblins and ghouls. For many, the COVID-19 pandemic scared many away from celebrating. They got to dress up but not be, you know, we didn't really go from house to house. But this year, parents say there's a little less scare in the air. Definitely um, feel a little safer this year. Parents feeling a little safer and kids as excited as ever. Trick or treat. We get to rock walk around in streets and say hi to people and say trick or treat. But with all the fun comes a quick reminder today from CMPD about how scary Halloween can truly be. First and foremost, uh, we want uh, parents to go with their children, make sure they're attending their children. CMPD officer Jonathan Frisk says children should never go trick or treating alone. And before they bite into that candy, check it. Make sure there's no type of foreign objects in there. The most urgent message though, not to trick or treaters, but to those behind the wheel to take it slow and pay attention. It's Halloween and kids are going to be out there to just take the extra security measures to go slow and Make sure they're stopping and all stop signs. Now here at the Spirit Halloween store at the Metropolitan, there was a line just a few minutes ago, so be prepared for that if you are one of the many people headed out tonight to get a last minute costume or accessory. And also returning this year, the very popular 20th annual Rich and Bennett Halloween pub crawl that's happening in uptown Charlotte. It was canceled last year due to COVID, but that is back and many people also looking forward to trick or treating once again on Sunday. So a lot of fun things to look forward to this weekend. Reporting just outside uptown Charlotte, Ashley Daly, WCNC Charlotte. It'll be a busy weekend. All right, Ashley, thank you.